I hope you are enjoying this video. If you want to know how I achieved this blazer jacket, please make sure you keep watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. So, in this video, I now have my main fabric, my lapel turn up. This is what we call lapel turn up. So, I'm going to notch also to know where my collar will start. I have not it so you can see this is the main fabric this is like a stretch stuff for the for the lapel for the lapel okay for the sleeve I folded my sleeve into four into four the left and the right side so if you want to draft i will suggest you go and uh, I'll, okay i'll drop the link of the previous videos so it's better you draft your blazers before actually cutting it on your fabric because definitely you must make mistake i'm not saying that mistake is not allowed but please i'm begging try it on your pattern paper before doing it on your main fabric so for the sleeve Keep watching and let's dive into it. So I'm going to trace here out because here will not be we will not be using this side. My long sleeve is uh, 24, 24 inches. Bam. My seam allowance two inch, which is 26. So what I'll be measuring is. Uh, 24 26 so it's going to be 24 26 guys yes so let's dive to the main sleeve details to make a sleeve we have different patterns of making different sleeves but i'm going to show you the one of blazers you can do it three and three. Let's do it three and three, guys. Let's do it three and three. Six. It is three and three. These three and three will help. Just keep watching. If you want your sleeve, your blazer sleeve to stand. Please use this method but use a thicker fabric. So I'm going to come down by one inch here. I don't know why my chalk keep break, keeps breaking. So I'm going to come down by my cap measurement, which is four inches here. So this side I'm going to come down by my armhole, which is 7.75. So I'm going to use my ample to curve from here to here, then from my cap to here, so my ample. So I'm going to reconnect it perfectly well. So this is how to get your sleeve, your blazer sleeve. You get three here at the first, then from here you also get three. So after getting the three, you as well, from this first three, you come down by your cap 
length which is four then from here come down by your armhole divide this by two so this is eight so i'm going to divide it by, by two which will give me four right so this four i'm going to come down four here also so i'm going to mark four from here to here from here to here so from this four i'm going to add my seam allowance which is one inch guys like i'm coming up with different new ideas and different new details about how to go with your sleeve construction so this is the one inch i'm going to extend everything i have at the initial time with one inch like here will be one inch here will be one inch going to recurve then this one will have to join to this so my elbow my elbow is 13 which is here so I'm going to measure 13 all through so my round elbow is, uh, if I bend my elbow is 13, 13 divided by 2 will give me 6 and half. So what I have here is 4, so I'm going to mark my 6 and half here. So I'm going to connect here to here. Remember we have not added our seam allowances here to here. So I'm going to start now by adding one more inch to this that's why freehand we have limit details that we have to do with freehand but if it's pattern you create whatever style designs you want to create make sure it's achievable before transferring it on your fabric so i'm going to add half half inch here So we are true with the sleeve. Remember, we have already added one here. That's the reason. So guys, I noticed that I made a very huge mistake while cutting the sleeve. Remember that I said that your sleeve is going to be in two piece. Okay, basically, this is how your sleeve is supposed to be. So I'm going to retrace it now and then show you guys. So remember that we have added all our seam allowances. So this is how our laser sleeve is supposed to look like. So this is how it's supposed to look like, something like this. So this is the formal sleeve. This too is the formal sleeve. Why this is the new sleeve. That's why pattern is very, very much important. So this is how this leaf is going to look like. So this is the back. Why? This is the front. So what I got to do is to separate this you have to separate to know which side to fix your back panel to so this is what i have 
so this is my back panel i'm going to also separate this then i know that um armhole goes to armhole neckline to neckline so this is supposed to be equal but since they are not equal all i have to do is to trim it out So I'm going to join these two together. I'm joining the back now. So this is how the back looks like. So I have joined the neckline. Um, the shoulders, the two shoulders, and I have interlocked both the shoulder and uh, both the shoulder and the back line. So what I have to do now is to cut out the collar shoulders. So what I have to do now is to measure. I'm going to measure this collar. Sorry, I'm going to. I'm going to measure this collar from this point to these points that I not to know the length of the collar I'm going to cut out. So straighten your fabric. Nineteen and half, nineteen and half plus uh, one inch. That's half inch for for sewing, half inch for sewing plus one inch will give me twenty and half. So the length of what I'm going to collar that I'm going to cut out will be twenty and half. So this is the collar. This is how the collar will look like. So what I have to do is to stitch here. I'm also going to stitch here, then turn it over. So this is now my collar. This is the center, my collar and the center. So what I have to do now is I'll bring my main fabric. So remember here is our center back. This line is our center back. So I'm going to place this and then use my, my pin to hold. So to make my work easier, I'm going to also stitch. So I'm going to look for where I knot. So this is where I knot. I'm going to place this like so. Where is that place? Yep. So I'm going to place the center. So I'm going to stitch here all through the collar with half an inch.
ain't so nuts. So I'm going to turn it or flip it over. This is what I have. Can you see? This is my cola. Note that here is smaller compared to here and here have a curvy area. So if you fold it, it will stand like this and here is my lapel. So what I have to do now, my cola can you see my lapel is ready my collar is also ready so when I flip this is what you will have so this is what we will have here without any doubt so, this, so I'm going to join here I'm going to join them into two I'm going to join them together starting from this point Starting from here, from the down part, remember there is one inch that we added, so I'm going to use the one inch. Repeat the same pro procedure on the other sleeve. So I'm going to repeat the same thing and show you guys. So I have a um, stitch here. I have stitched this end edge. I have also interlocked my sleeve. So this is how my sleeve looks like. The sleeve is the final thing to do. So what I have to do now is to sew the side seams together. So after sewing the side seams, I will interlock. After interlocking, then I can fix the, the sleeves. I don't want mine to be too tight, so I'm going to use one inch. So guys, this is the final stage of this um, blazer. So what we, what I did here is um, I used pin to pin all this ram. And if you notice that your sleeve wideness, that's your armhole, is wider than your main fabric armhole, please trim off from your fabric so that your armhole will balance. You can raise your arm and then. Um, be free and comfortable so i trimmed out from here i trimmed out like this so that my my sleeve and my fabric or my blazer and bow will rhyme so the next thing for me is and see another thing is if you are if you are fixing the armhole make sure that this place that you joined is at the back panel not on the front panel at the back panel so I'm going to start at the center I'm going to start at the center because the center is uh, kind of tricky in a way 